After visiting Les Cayes, the worst affected town after Saturday's quake, new Prime Minister Ariel Henry praised the dignity shown by the survivors while promising a rapid escalation of aid. However, by late Tuesday, with the threat of a second night of heavy rain, residents said help was scant. Tropical storm Grace, which ploughed across southern Haiti the previous night, had swept away many shelters and engulfed the field, adding to the misery. They complained that they lacked even the most basic types of aid, such as food, clean drinking water and shelter from the rain. Now, the head of Haiti's Civil Protection Agency, which handles emergency response, said the government was sending aid to affected areas by land. However, flash flooding and landslides in the wake of Tropical Storm Grace worsened the difficulties of reaching remote communities. The poorest country in the Americas, Haiti is still recovering from the quake 11 years ago that killed more than 200,000 people. Now, the latest calamity comes just over a month after the July 7th assassination of President Jovenel Moise, which plunged the country into political turmoil. Now, on Tuesday, authorities said that the earthquake had killed at least 1,941 people. However, with rescuers still pulling bodies from the rubble, the tally is set to rise. The United Nations said it had allocated 8 million in emergency relief funds for the country, and Latin American nations such as Chile and others sent food, medicine and supplies, while the United States also dispatched supplies and search and rescue teams.